in this very, very deep mud wallow. Oh, wonderful. He's going to cover himself in a little bit of mud. And for those of you who are watching, and I have to have a special mention this afternoon again to Tesla, who is six and asks us a question. So Tesla, I'm not sure if you watch all the time and maybe you don't know this, but elephants have to cover themselves in mud and in sand to keep themselves nice and cool. And also, if you look very carefully, you'll see that there are lots of flies and lots of bugs moving around at the moment. And uh, they're not great. Even though the elephant has got very, very thick skin, they're still covered in tiny little hairs that are hard like bristles. So every time something sits on them, uh, they can indeed feel it moving around. So the biting insects will be able to bite them. And by covering them in mud, it can actually will suffocate um, all of those ectoparasites. So that's what we would call ticks and mites and things like that. And it will kill them. And then the favorite thing that an elephant will do after it's had a big mud bath, and sort of like what this one is doing now, putting all the small shrubs underneath its legs, is it was actually having a little bit of a scratch. What are you doing now? Are you trying to make yourself look big and scary because it's not working? I'm not a little bit intimidated, I'm afraid. But he, he's not very old. He's quite young. He's playful. He, he doesn't need mom anymore. Look at him. <laughs> You're going to fall into that hole. And I'm going to laugh if you do. And he must only be about 15 years old, somewhere around there. Now, machine gun, you've said, could he get caught in that hole? He could indeed. And, and that's actually what I'm a little bit nervous of. I said I would laugh, but I'd also feel very sad if he were to slip in there. But elephants are, they're not as clumsy, especially at this age. Oh, he threw a piece of bark. That's a bit rude. <laughs> he is trying to make himself look big and scary, uh, trying to intimidate us. Um, so, yes, if he were to slide down there, I think that it would be quite difficult uh, and maybe if he moves away we can drive the car just a little bit up there to have a look to see how deep it actually is now he might even be all right but a young elephant calf if they got too close and fell in oh my goodness it would be an absolute disaster the little one would trumpet and scream and panic all the adults would come rushing to its side trying to help it out and i've seen so much footage i've never seen it in real life though where elephant calves have got stuck in the mud. And I've demonstrated to you once before, I think Darby was you at one bushwalk with me when we threw the rock yeah. into the, the muddy, um, well, what used to be a little pan where the nest cam is and outside Vuyatela Lodge and you saw how it just absorbed that rock and that would do the same thing with an elephant. Actually, let's go and see, let's go on a little bit of an adventure. Now, I'm not going to go too far off road. I'm literally going to go about two meters while we wait for the big elephant bulls, well, the bigger elephant bulls to come through, but I'm quite interested to see how deep this mud wallow is. I think that they've been work, working on it and um, digging into it for quite some time. So we're gonna just go up here. It's not so bad. Okay. Sorry, Wendy makes a horrific noise when you try and turn her anywhere. Oh, so it's actually not too bad at all. From where we are and on the other side of the bank that we can see, it was actually quite steep. But luckily, the side closest to us is quite um, shallow, and I think that it would be okay. And if an elephant were to fall in there, it would be a very sticky situation, but I'm sure that they'd be pull, able to pull themselves out um, just to this sort of section, just down over here. And they could happily walk out. But luckily for us, no elephants are going to get stuck in here this afternoon. We're gonna wait for those two elephant bulls behind us to come out and play. James, however, has got one of the prettier things you can find out on safari.